Hi, I'm Jenna with Tiny House Giant Journey. We're here with the Raven Lore, which is Nikki's new tiny home from Tiny Green Cabins. Let's go take a tour. So it's pretty bare bones right now. She just got it, what, three days ago? Mm -hmm, yeah, just got it. I haven't moved in yet, but I'd still love to show it to you. Great. So how long is the tiny house? This is 22 feet long by your standard eight feet wide. Right. Mm -hmm. So you got um, a tiny green cabins. They actually built out over the um, fenders. So you get a little bit more width on the inside than most tiny homes. And how much does it weigh again? 13,500 pounds. Right, which is why it has four axles. And we'll show you that on the outside of the house. But some cool features to the tiny house, um, to the Raven Lore that's unique is that you have solar power. Yes. Um, which is what every tiny houser wants, but not many have. Mm -hmm. So um, can you talk a little bit about the system? Um, I don't know too much about it because I just got it, haven't tried it out yet. It's a 600 watt system by Zamp. Um, mm -hmm. I got a special on it with the house. And I think it would do pretty well at powering the fridge, the lights, things like that. Probably not the incinerating toilet. Right. Yeah, and we'll get to not, that. Soon. Not the air conditioner. Not <laughs> right. things like that. But it could it could keep you off grid comfortably if you want it to be. Right. And I think the most unique thing about Nikki's house is the color mm -hmm. of the house. Yes. I mean, just the overall <laughs> look. So, uh, what's the inspiration for the Victorian style? Well, the Victorian style was kind of Jim Wilkins in his first design in, of the Raven Lore. When I saw what the house looked like with all the gingerbread trim, I knew it had to be purple and pink and blue and green because, you know, that's what I like. Right. Well, I think, I think it's gorgeous and I think it definitely pops, if, mm -hmm. if you'll let me say it. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's eye-catching. I mean, there's never going to be another tiny house that looks the same. No. I love that it's completely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. That makes me really happy. Right. Okay. Well, let's um, just go ahead and start the tour. Um, you are sitting in what will be your, or standing in what will be your sitting space, right? Yep. This is the living area. Uh -huh. um, this is a temporary seating, but it's, it's not too bad. It's pretty comfy. <laughs> right. Uh, I hope to eventually uh, put in maybe a projection TV with a screen that pulls down over the door. Right. And so this is her secondary door. Yeah, we just went through the, the front door. And would you call this the back door or the side door? Or you don't I know yet. I haven't really thought yeah. about it, but I like that there's a second door and I like that it's all windows there, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it brings in a lot of natural light. Mm -hmm. So ideally you'd have maybe a screen that comes down here and that would work as your you know, entertainment yeah. system. Absolutely. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then make sure you get a lot of this um, woodwork up here. They've put in, what did he call it? Jim Wilkins calls this the butterfly vault. I okay. guess that's the architectural term for this really pretty pitch of the ceiling here. Right. Uh, the rest of the roof is uh, the normal gable and it expands to dormers up in the loft, but she has this extra, um, I don't know what you call it, a little dormer right here. I guess it's the butterfly. It's an extra gable or something. Yeah, an extra gable, <laughs> but it definitely adds some architectural value to the yeah, house. It's gorgeous. And the mm -hmm. bump out, which I have a bump out in my tiny house, but we mm -hmm. use it for our sitting area. Mm -hmm. And our ti my tiny house is not as, as uh, luxurious and large as yours, but you've decided to use it for your closet. Yes, that is my closet space. That's all of it. Right. <laughs> Pretty sure with some clever organization, I can fit my entire wardrobe in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure you can. <laughs> yeah. You got to do it. You know, yeah. it's part of the big downsize. And then the um, solar system is in the bottom. Mm -hmm. And we have a Dickinson propane heater off to the side of the closet. Yeah, I love those. Um, that thing heats up this place really fast. And I don't know, I love the way it looks. It's yeah, a great we, little heater. We had it going um, the other night, and it was... It was pretty toasty in here, yeah, but that might say so. Yeah, it's really good. And then this, um, this is a fold-up desk. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, so the usual little flap here. And of course, that one was custom made to fit that little spot. Right. Yeah, with this nice angle back here, and you also have this extra shelving, which is nice, and a nice little window. 
Great. And you can also use this for, um, you know, folding your clothes after doing laundry, which I think a lot of tiny houses don't think about things like that, you yeah. know? <laughs> Otherwise, you're folding your clothes on your couch. Or, counter or exactly. Or <laughs> you don't want that to happen. So you have some um, cool storage in the floor here. Uh, yeah, I've got three of these little smugglers hatches in the floor with right. a little bit of extra storage. Can we show how they open? We can try. Okay. There's a little string that you pull up. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Nice. And all three of them are this size, which actually is a pretty good size. There's a lot of storage in there, and uh, I like that. I like that little extra hidden storage for the house. Right. I don't know what I'll put in there yet, but I'm <laughs> sure I'll need storage for something. Yeah, and because um, Tiny Green Cabins built up over the fenders, that gave her that option to have storage underneath, because her trailer is actually a little bit higher mm -hmm. than mine or a lot of others. Okay, well, these are your stairs, correct? Or a ladder stair, I suppose you yes. call it. Alternating tread. I like this. I don't, I'm not a big fan of ladders. This is something a little more sturdy and stable than a ladder, but still doesn't take up too much space. No, it doesn't. And because you can see through it, mm -hmm. that's why it really expands the space. If this had a blocker on the back of it, it would seem like a wall yeah. and it would close off your space. So him leaving that open was a really good idea. Nice Lever. and open at the top and it's got a little slide out oh. cabin underneath. It just pulls straight out. Oh, it pulls straight out. Mm -hmm. And there's paint in there. We'll touch up paint for the colors yep. of the house. Yeah. Perfect. So, okay, so let's talk about the kitchen. All right. You can go ahead at your house, take us through it. I think this is a really good size kitchen for a tiny house. A little galley style kitchen. Full size sink. Big, huge sink. I thought that was kind of a necessity. I would much rather have a giant sink than have more counter space, which I really have plenty of counter space in here. Um, this is a combination washer dryer. A lot of people don't have laundry in their house. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really happy to have that particular amenity. Doesn't take up too much space and it's something that I felt was a necessity for me, right. personally. Yeah. A lot of cabinets, a lot of drawers, a lot of storage in here. Got my cooktop, which you said you have the same one. I do, mm -hmm. it's a three burner propane cooktop. Now you have a propane water heater as well and your heating is also propane. Correct. So you'll see on the back of Nikki's house, she's got two big propane tanks to mm -hmm. supply that. And the propane water heater, little on-demand heaters under the kitchen sink. And I've got a window over each kitchen counter, which mm -hmm. I'm, I'm big on having lots of windows, lots of light, so you don't feel cramped up, you know? Right. And mm -hmm. then you have an Energy Star electric refrigerator. Yeah, the refrigerator is electric. Mm -hmm. And uh, is that a little freezer compartment up here? Mm -hmm. You can tell she just moved in because everything's still taped I up. I haven't done yeah. anything yet. <laughs> I That's guess all right. if someday I wanted to and I didn't like it, I could change it to propane. Yeah, if you wanted to be more off-grid. I mean, you have the solar, so you, you have the makings of it. But, um, yeah, it's just, you know, it depends on where you're going to be. So next up, we have the bathroom. The bathroom. A little pocket door, or no, that's a barn sliding door, isn't it? Yeah, because it doesn't go into no, the wall. No, it doesn't. It, there's no pocket. It just slides back here. Right, and I actually think these save more space than a pocket door because when you build a pocket door, you have to have a really wide threshold to put that door inside of the wall. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you do a barn style door, I think it saves more space because it can just go on the exterior of that wall. Personally, um, so in. An interesting thing about Nikki's uh, bathroom is, of course, the incinerating toilet. Mm -hmm. um, I understand you haven't used it yet because, again, you just got the tiny mm -hmm. house. But uh, what made you decide to go with this toilet? I don't know. It sounds really cool. <laughs> of course, you know, it's a waterless system mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about black wastewater. It does, however, use a lot of electricity. That's the big downside of incinerating toilets, of course. Yeah. Um, well, I, I can't wait to hear your review of it. I, I, know, I haven't tried it yet. I've yeah. <laughs> mixed reviews online about smells and things like that. So I guess we'll find out. We'll find <laughs> out, right. And you have a regular size shower in here um, and a nice big mirror over a bathroom sink. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, right at my height. Mm hmm Yeah. Yep. I, like, I like everything in the bathroom. I think it's a nice sink. It good is. Good size shower. It's a good size Perfect sink, bathroom. too. And you have plenty of room in there to get dressed, which I think is again a big plus. A lot of tiny houses have to get dressed in their living room. So getting dressed in the bathroom is great after you get out of the shower. <laughs> and you have some space up yeah, there. Got some storage up here, some shelves there, mm -hmm. and space for some more storage over here if, right. I, if I need it. Well you can add some more shelving there if you want to put some of your clothes in here. Mm -hmm. That way you don't have to just stick to your <laughs> closet in the front. So mm -hmm. something to consider. All right well let's go check out the loft.
one of my favorite things in this house is the floors. I think the floors are beautiful and the same floors are up in the loft area as well. What kind of floors are those? They're hickory. Nice. And are the walls pine or no? They're cedar? Cedar. They're mm -hmm. cedar. Nice. So I think this is a pretty good size loft area. Mm -hmm. the, even even over here, we are not at the full ceiling height. It's it's not that short. Right. Yeah. Um, my mattress will be pretty thin, so I don't think I'll be hitting my head too much. Maybe on this. <laughs> you can always switch that out if, if it becomes a problem. Thing. Yeah. But that's going to be where your waist is more than your head, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Got nice windows on either side that open, get a good cross breeze. Mm -hmm. And I love this little window. Decorative right picture yeah. window in the back. Yeah. Um, it's one of my favorite things. Victorian style mm -hmm. again. It's It's got a nice um, line to it as well, you know, that would have been hard to trim. Well, um, this guy is like a master carpenter. Yeah, he knows what he's he did doing. It was gorgeous, <laughs> yeah. Did right. fantastic work. Um, and he did put in a lot of outlets for you, which is a great thing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of um, lot to be said about having choices of where you're going <laughs> to plug your devices in. So I see one, two, three up here. Mm -hmm. That's great. So one thing we forgot to mention is that you have an air conditioner in here because mm -hmm. you live in Savannah, Georgia. It yeah. does get a little tropical here in the summer. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So that is a necessary, humid all yeah. summer. <laughs> necessary amenity in this tiny house. It's electric, um, but from what I've heard about these systems is that it puts out plenty of, you know, cool air for you to live comfortably in a tiny home in the summer. Yes. So you want to head outside and show us around? All right. Great. As you can see, those bright colors are here that we were talking about earlier, and I, I believe you called it the gingerbread trim. Yes. And those are her four um, solar panels on the top. What kind of roofing is that? That is castle top metal shingles. I've never seen roofing like that before. I love the alternating colors. Yeah, that was my idea too. Awesome. <laughs> it kind of looks like a tortoise shell. I hope you don't mind me saying that. But like a colorful, beautiful one. Okay. <laughs> and what I really love about this side of the house is the uh, fascia boards and the trim work. I mean, there's just a lot of detail uh, woodwork in this uh, tiny home. What's the wood that was used before? This painting? is this is cedar siding. Cedar siding, yeah. and then painted. That mm -hmm. must have been tricky to go through these little lines right there. I, I perceive and, and a he lot added of that. Taping. Like I didn't, I didn't force him to do this little bit, but he added that himself because he thought it looked nicer. And he was right. Right. <laughs> well, he did a wonderful job. Yeah. How tall is your tiny house? Thirteen and a half. Thirteen and a half. So mm -hmm. right at the uh, legal limits. Um, but it's beautiful. It's definitely heavy duty. Mm -hmm. See from this trailer for sure. And she's got the scissor jacks on all four sides. So. Welcome to the tiny house community. Thank are, you so are much. Are you excited? I am you know? excited. I can't wait to get in here yeah, and start yeah. living my new life. Exactly. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Tune in next time for the next tiny house tour.